Andres. This is our first how-to video for our AutoCAD flags, and our first how-to video ever, for that matter. Since today, August 15th, is the day Korea regained its independence, as well as this being a class project for novice CAT students, I thought it would be fitting to try and break my previous record and give a step-by-step -step tutorial for those interested. If you are taking this class at Handong University, it is called Introduction to Drafting and CAD, or something similar. You are required to draw this flag as part of the final, or at least that's how it went down when I took the class. To receive a perfect score, you must complete the flag in under five minutes with no errors. You will also see that I am using layers and proper color swatches, both of which are not required for the exam, but are a nice added touch. Before we get started, let me thank you for watching this video. I hope to be uploading more like it in the future. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe, smash that bell icon, comment below, and the like. Okay, let's get rocking. To start off, you want to make a template. You need at least two layers, and the color swatch is already picked before starting the exam. Also, turn on orthographic projection and turn off any object snaps that you do not need. Since this isn't needed for the test, having this prepared beforehand is not cheating, as you can complete this test without them. If you happen to forget to make this template, it's not a big deal. If you are asked to draw the flag on the fly, and you can do so in less than three minutes, you are left with an entire two minutes to prepare your workspace and still pass well within the time limit. First step, draw a three by two rectangle. It is recommended to start with zero zero at the bottom left, especially if you plan to use the number pad and coordinate entry. Next, draw a diagonal line from the upper left corner to the bottom right corner. Using the midpoint of this line, draw a circle with a radius of one half. On the coordinate system, the circle's center point would be 1.5 and 1. Now time for the teguk. Enter the circle command and enter 2p for two-point circle. Click the intersection of the diagonal and the circumference of your first circle and slide down to the first circle's center point, like so. Exit the command and repeat, again using 2p. Start at the center and slide down. Notice, if you minimize mouse movement during this process, you can save time because the next move starts off from where the previous move was finished. For the next step, we are going to need a custom UCS. Follow this one carefully if you plan to use the number pad instead of the mouse, or it won't work like you expect. Type UCS into the command line and hit enter. Type 3P for three points and enter. Specify X and Y as you see here. Notice the placement and direction. Exit the command. Since Z is already established, you do not need to worry about it. Notice your 00, zero is in a different location, and you can see that the cursor has changed from white to red and green. The next thing you want to do is draw a rectangle that is 1 over 12 units by 1 half units. If you are using the number pad, enter it as minus 1 over 12 and 1 half. Complete the command. Now move the rectangle to the left by minus one quarter units and minus one quarter units. Again, watch your signs or it will move the wrong way. If you are doing it with the mouse, you can simply select the rectangle and move it up one quarter unit as one command and repeat again to the left as a second command. Then copy the rectangle twice along the x-axis by one eighth and one quarter of a unit respectively. You have established the first of four trigrams, or kwae, as they are called in Korean. 
enter the UCS command again and press W for world and press enter. You are now back on the original coordinate plane. Here's where it gets interesting, so watch closely. Select the entire trigram and enter the mirror command. Then selecting the midpoint on either side of the flag, mirror the trigram across the x-axis. When asked to keep the original, tell it no. The default setting is already at no for mine, so I just hit enter twice when I have placed the mirrored trigram. Next, draw a line between the midpoints of the long sides of the middle rectangle. Offset that line by 1 48th of a unit away on each side. As you might imagine, to enter the offset, Type Offset and hit the spacebar. Select the line and click somewhere outside of it. Repeat for the other side. The space created should be 1 over 12, which is the same distance that is between each rectangle of the trigrams. Now it's time to clean up the banner of any lines we no longer need. Enter the Trim command and trim out the space within the offset you just made as well as the circles of the tegeki. Save time by doing this within the same pass, as you only have to use the trim command once. Next, delete the small line left over and the diagonal construction line. Then, join everything together so that there are no issues with hatching later, as well as making the next steps easier. We are going to mirror again, but this time across the y-axis using the top or bottom midpoints of the flag. When mirroring this time, select only the middle rectangles of both trigrams and swap them over. Now you can build the remaining two trigrams from these new pieces. Start by selecting the bottom right trigram and enter the copy command. Watch this magic. Using the first trigram as a reference, you can easily copy the rectangles in a few simple clicks. Once in the copy command, if you pick any point on the middle rectangle, you can use that same point again on the other two rectangles. How cool is that? Zoom out and voila, there it is, the third trigram. For the final trigram, simply mirror across the x-axis what you just copied. Awesome job, your flag has been drafted. It's time for the hatching. Remember how I said you needed at least two layers? Well, this is when you'll use the second layer. Go ahead and select your second layer and enter the hatch command. Doing one color at a time, hatch a solid color as required on the banner. If you had already set up your colors beforehand, this goes by much faster and paints a much more accurate flag. Otherwise, just use the built-in red and blue. Also remember the order of the colors. It does no good to set a record if your teguk is upside down. A tip to keep things running faster and more smoothly is try not to hatch all four trigrams at once. Zoom in and tackle one at a time. Enter, hatch, exit. Enter, hatch, exit. Also, I found that it goes by faster if you hatch the trigrams first and the white field last. Finally, zoom out so that the entire flag is in view and turn off your first layer or the construction layer. As you can see, it looks much better without the white lines going through it. This coupled with the correct color swatches will be much more impressive than otherwise. There you have it. The Korean flag, or Teguki, has been drawn, and now all you gotta do is practice. Keep in mind, there are plenty of ways to draw this flag, and maybe you can draw it faster. There's no reason why you must stick to this method. Let us know what you think in the comment section. Again, thank you for watching this video. This is Cover and Dress AutoCAD Tutorials, copyright 2020. Yeah.